The Monty Hall Problem The Monty Hall Problem is a popular puzzle that comes up when we study probability and statistics. It's based on an American TV show named Let's Make a Deal, whose original host was Monty Hall. So in this show, you have three doors. Behind one of the doors is something valuable like a car, and behind the other two doors, you have something you don't care about like a goat. You are asked to choose one of the doors. Once you choose a door, let's say you chose door one, there is either a car or a goat behind the door. And then there are two other doors. The host reveals that there is a goat in one of the remaining two doors. And at that point, you have an option to switch your choice to another door. Will you take the option and switch or will you stick with your original choice? So for instance, suppose you chose door one here and you don't know what's behind door one, but the host revealed that door three now has a goat. Will you switch your choice to door two or will you stick with door one? That's the problem. What would you do? Now, at the first sight, it looks like there is equal probability of there being a car between any of these doors. And so if you pick one of these doors, there's no reason to change your choice really, irrespective of what the host tells you. But when you look at it more closely, you might see it differently. So let's see. So there are two cases, suppose you do not switch and suppose you do switch. So first let's look at what happens when you do not switch. Now let's say, you know, we have, uh, let's take this particular configuration where we have a goat behind the first door, a car behind the second door and a goat behind the third door. Now you can permute this and things won't change here. So let's say we have this configuration and we chose the first door, which has a goat. Now, if you do not switch, irrespective of what the host tells you, you're going to lose because you chose a door with a goat and you're not switching. Uh, and in all likelihood, Monty Hall will tell you that this door has a goat, but you're not switching to the car, so you lose here. Now, suppose you choose the second door with a car. Well, in this case, whatever Monty Hall reveals to you, you will win because the host will reveal one of these other two goats but you're not switching, so you are sticking with the car and you win here. Now, if you choose the third door which has a goat, you are going to lose because the host is going to reveal the other goat, but you're not switching to the car, so you're going to lose. So, to sum it up, what we see here is, suppose we do not switch. Out of three possible cases, there is only one case in which we win. Hence, the probability of winning is 1 by 3 if we do not switch. What happens if we switch? So we decide whatever we see, we are going to switch. Now, again, let's go through the three possibilities. First is you chose this first door with a goat. Now, the host would reveal to you the other goat in this case, that the third door has a goat. And if you choose to switch, you will end up switching to the second door, which has a car and you will win. If you choose the second door, which has a car, the host could reveal to you one of these other two goats. And since you choose to switch, you will end up switching from the car to the other goat, which was not revealed by the host and you will lose because you switched to a goat. And in the third case, suppose you choose this third door with a goat and the host will now reveal to you the other goat, which is the first door, you will end up switching to the second door, which is the car. And so you win because you chose the car. Now what you see here is that again in the three possibilities, we are winning in two of the possibilities and losing in only one of the possibilities. 
So hence, the probability of winning if you do switch is 2 by 3. What this means is that switching is a better choice and you should switch. Though it might seem a bit counterintuitive. So we can also look at it from uh, the perspective of conditional probability by writing it more formally and expanding it using the total probability theorem and we will get the same thing. So we have written exactly what we just said and we'll end up getting the property of winning if we do not switch is one by three and the probability of winning if we do switch using the conditional probabilities and the total probability theorem expansion, the probability of winning if you do switch is two by three. Another way of looking at this intuitively is as follows. So you think there is a chance of one third chance of winning if you choose any of the doors initially. So you choose one of the doors. Let's say you chose the first door. What it means is the probability of winning if you had chosen one of the remaining two doors was two by three at that time, right? So if you chose this door, the probability of the car being in the remaining two doors was two by three. Now, when the host reveals which door does not have a car in those remaining two doors and you switch to the other one in the remaining two doors, you are taking this entire probability of two by three instead of your original probability of one by three. That's what it means. This is probably a simpler way of understanding it, but the bottom line, switching is a good choice. So this was the Monty Hall problem. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.